There was an anonymity involved in guerrillas. Was that something that came about as a, a result of your disillusionment with fame at all? Or? <laughs> Um, I don't think it was that dramatic. I think it was just, it, you know, it, it was a really interesting idea to create something like gorillas. And in a way, I think uh, it was quite a, a visionary thing in the sense that I think pop music, for, for better or worse, definitely became gorillas esque post-Demon Days. Very few examples of that. Run DMC and Aerosmith are definitely a sort of... Um, but you know what I mean? It became a sort of standard format after that. I understand where, where what you're I, saying from yeah. the collaboration point of view. Yeah. What was your inspiration? And also I think, I think, I think music became, pop music became more cartoon-like. I think that's a fair assumption, a yeah. fair comment. What, what about the, the inspiration behind it, though, and your collaboration with Jamie Hewlett? How did you guys get together, and what did you set out to do? We, we were sitting on the sofa watching TV, and uh, I think some music video came, came on that particularly annoyed us both. And, uh, you know, we turned around and went, well, we can do better than that. So the next day I went to my studio, he went to his uh, studio. I did, a, I did a tune and he came back with a, a drawing of gorillas. So, and that was the beginning of so it. So when you saw the, the drawing, were you immediately like, well, we've got the name of the band and here, here's the project right here? Yeah, I, I, I think the Z, the Z was, was the clincher. We didn't have the Z in the first, the first kind of picture didn't have a, it was just gorilla. And then the Z came and it was, it was right.